the Everglades, where the sun's golden orb descends into the pewter waters of Florida Bay. Here, where the gulf meets the ocean at Florida's southern tip, that's the outer edge of this giant river of grass. Nowhere else in the world is quite like it. It's a place of primitive beauty, where white-winged water birds swirl overhead. However, to come to know this vast ecosystem, we must leave the pavement behind and step into the real Everglades. Sure, we might get our feet wet and muddy. We might experience a few mosquito bites. Much of the Everglades is water. Everglades National Park comprises only about one-fifth of the Everglades. It's designed to help protect at least that part of it. Big Cypress National Preserve, also established to protect a large part of the glades, is situated in Collier and Monroe County. The actual Everglades stretches up the peninsula to Lake Okeechobee. If you venture into the Fallahatchie Strand, you may see the wild orchids blooming profusely. The bay or backcountry cruises are a great way to explore the waterways. Canoes or kayaks are an even better way to get up close and personal with the inhabitants of this watery wonderland. Be on the lookout for many varieties of birds, hawks, herons, terns, and dozens of others. Some of the ones we saw when we were researching our book, Wild About Florida, South Florida, were stunning. A beautiful snowy egret perched in a tree, his mating plumage blowing in the breeze. An ibis with his strange curved beak takes flight when he becomes aware of us watching him. A yellow-crowned night heron was a real treat, as was the colorful roseate spoonbill. The anhinga particularly fascinate me. The way they swim, then dive deep to seek a tasty fish. Then they rest high on a branch to dry their wings. I learned to tell the male by his darker neck while the females line up. The most colorful bird we found was the purple gallinule. We sought in vain to see a Florida panther. No wonder, there are only about 300 left in the wild. We did spot a sunning crocodile on the dock of the Mingo campground, and another one the same day deep in the swamp. A really lucky break, as there are only a few hundred of these endangered reptiles left. The southern tip of Florida is the only place in the U.S. they can be found. An alligator sighting is almost a given. These once endangered creatures now throng in every available water pond or ditch. From tiny babies to large terrifying monsters, they are everywhere. They even share their gator holes with the very birds they prey upon. Always remember, in the Everglades, the alligator is king. We're Kathleen and Martin Walls, and if you enjoyed this slideshow, please visit us at www.wildaboutflorida.us for the more information about our books, photos, and all things Florida.